Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, the second lesson that Debbie read for us today from James um, focuses on a really important theme or teaching, uh, especially for us, for us Lutherans. Uh, all of us who were raised as Lutherans and many, many, many others understand that at the heart of Lutheranism is our, um, uh, our understanding that we are justified by grace apart from works of the law. The law doesn't save us. Jesus saves us. Now there was a generation of Lutheran leaders many, many years ago, shortly after the lifetime of Martin Luther himself, a generation of Lutheran leaders that was so hostile to the notion of good works that they, they actually taught that Lutherans should not perform good works because we might fall into a false understanding that it was our works that were making us acceptable to God. So, so to prevent that happening, don't do good works. Seriously. <laughs> In fact, what Luther taught and what Lutherans have uh, generally taught is that we are justified by grace. We are made God's own people by God's work, by God's will. We are created to be good workers in the world, to, pe to be people who translate our beliefs into action out in the world. We here at Grace understand that. And that's why, and I've pointed this out numerous times, the, the uh, easels set up in the atrium are all kinds of invitations for us to get our hands dirty, in some cases literally, doing God's work out there in the world. We serve in the name of a gracious God. We take the understanding that God loves the whole world and we don't just internalize that, we don't box it up in ourselves, but rather we take that as our starting point. And we say, because God loves me. And because I know that God loves the whole world, and because I know that it is God's will to embrace the whole world in God's love, my response is to be active, to let the world know that God's love is alive, is present, is among us, and is carried by us into the world. In the almost year that I've been here as, as your interim pastor, I have uh, I've been very impressed by the way this congregation translates what you say into what you do. You say that worship is important and even on a holiday weekend, we gather and joyfully and with wonderful spirit give praise to God, our creator and our redeemer. And week in and week out, month after month, you all are engaged with one another and individually bringing the light of Christ 
to people around this church, around the neighborhood, around this community, and literally around the world. Through our connections with our denomination, we serve people wherever disaster hits in the world. We help to educate children and adults in places all around the world. That's our ministry here at Grace because we support what others are doing in our name. We support the ministry of our sister congregation, La Trinidad, down in Humboldt Park monthly gathering with them to support their ministry to make Christ alive in that neighborhood in Chicago. You can just take a few minutes and look at all the easels out there and be proud. Be proud that grace takes grace. Not something that we own, but something that has been showered on us. We take grace, we take God's love out into the world. We don't just believe. We do God's work. Faith, James tells us, without works is dead. It's really not good enough to say, oh, I'm a child of God. That's cool. End of the story. That's the beginning of the story. Oh, I'm a child of God. Therefore, I will be in the world as a child of God. I want the world to look at me, to look at each of us, and say, there goes a child of God. You can tell, not in the way we walk or a secret handshake that we have or anything like that. It's that we are out in the world doing God's work bringing healing and reconciliation, feeding and clothing people who are poor, being companions to those who are struggling. Our Stephen ministry is a wonderful example of specially trained men and women who are willing and able to walk alongside a person who is going through a rough patch in his or her life. If you're going through a rough patch in your life, reach out for a Stephen minister. Ask me and I'll attach you to a Stephen minister. Because just as we bring God's love and share God's love with the world out there, we also have a very special responsibility to share that love with one another within the community of God's people. And we do both. on this Labor Day weekend, I think it's fitting for us to think about the work, the labor that we do in the name of Jesus. Take the weekend off after church today. Enjoy, enjoy the day off but then roll up your sleeves and get back to work because the work of the Christian never ends. 
We are privileged to be bearers of God's love, doers of the word, to let our hands do God's work. In Jesus' name.